police got a call about the jeweler shop robbery. When they arrived, the jeweler shop manager said that there were several boys dressed up with masks and gloves. He knew there was a female in the gang by seeing the long hair and eyelashes. The police saw scratches on his hand. They asked the manager where he got them from. The manager said that one of the robbers scratched him when he was catching them. The policemen immediately came to know that the manager was lying. Can you find out how they came to know that the manager was lying? Let us see the answer. They all were wearing gloves, so they couldn't have scratched the manager. So he was lying. Two friends named Albert and Martin. They stayed in one colony. They were together even if they had to travel. They had a daily routine of evening walk. There was a famous park in New York. They used to go to that park on alternate days. One day, Albert was waiting for Martin to go to park. They came to know that some animals had entered the city. So Martin told to Albert, that are you afraid of animals? No, not at all, answered Albert. They went to the park and they started jogging. Suddenly Martin saw a big bear coming from the front. He was thinking what to do. Albert climbs up the tree. Can you say what would Martin do to escape from bear? And what had Martin told Albert? Let us see the answer. When Bear was coming, Martin presented as a dead body and Bear came, and he smelled and went away. Because he doesn't eat a dead body, there was a boy named Steve. He was a very honest boy. And he was a very bright student, but his family was a little poor. For a long time, he was asking for a sports bike. His father used to say, I will get you next time. One day, he had scored high marks in his exams, and he got a medal. He came home and he was showing it to everyone. When his father came, he showed the medal and said, now please, can I get a bike? Dad, you promised me that if I do well in my studies, I will get a bike. His father told Steve, I will buy you a bike, but in one condition. He said, I will ask you one question. If you answer, I will buy you a bike. Steve was okay with the condition and he told me I'm ready. I'm the queen of darkness, but my eyes drop tears. Who am I? Steve gave the answer and father bought him the sports bike. What answer he gave so he got the bike? Can you find the answer? The answer was Kendall. And he gave the correct answer. He got his favorite sports bike. A lady whose name is Rosie was going to her house from the bank. It was very cold, too. When she crossed the signal, she came a little far from it. A robber came in front of her, and he hit her and took her back. And he ran off. She shouts for help, but no one comes to help her. When she came walking, she saw a police station, and she went inside, and she told the whole story. I was having my jewelry in the bag as I was coming from the bank. The police investigated her by asking some questions. She said he was wearing a mask and other things I was not able to remember because he was in a hurry. She got hurt in her hand too. Robber had a silver bracelet in his hand. Police got some doubt on her because he felt she was trying to fool him. Can you find why the police felt like that? Let us see the answer. When she said that the robber was wearing a mask and gloves in his hand and she was not able to see the robber properly. Then she came to know he was wearing a silver bracelet in his hand. So from this, he came to know that she is telling lies. One day, an old woman was about to die. She has three sons, and she was very sick. There came an angel to take her. But looking at the woman's love for her sons, she told her sons that I can grant you three wishes. Each one can wish for once, but only one wish at one time. When the angel came to take her, that time the first son said please leave her for two years, so she went back. After two years, she comes to take her then second son says please take her after one year. So the angel goes away, and when she comes after one year, this time her third son says that you take her after the candle melts, but the angel goes empty-handed. Can you say why the angel went empty-handed? 
What did the sun do? Let us see the answer. When the third sun turned off the flame of the candle so the candle did not melt, because of that angel went empty-handed. A young girl, her name was Ava. She was cooking in the hotel. She was the chief staff over there. She was doing a great job. People used to be very happy and tell her that she makes very nice arrangements and takes care of their guests. She had a boyfriend too. But in the hotel there was Nick who was jealous of seeing her boyfriend. One day, she did not come to the hotel. They got the news that she was kidnapped. So they called her family and told them. His father Abraham went to the hotel and when he got the details from the manager, then he made a plan. He spoke in the voice of Ava and called up both her boyfriend and Nick. He said, you fool, what you taught you will kidnap me. I am waiting in the hotel. Can you say what plan he had taught? How did he get her daughter back? Let us see the answer. When he gave the call, Nick came to the hotel to check her. When he found no one was there, then he went to the place where he had locked her, and his father followed him, and he was caught. Nick kidnapped her, 